Hi, this is B from Sorcery Soap, and today I want to show you how to stamp soaps and what to look for when you get ready to stamp your soaps. So I made these, let's see, what are we? I made these on the 28th, and I cut them on the 30th, and so today is the, wait, first, second. So, um, let's see. I want to make sure you can see. So you can see the texture of it a bit. Where are we? There we are. So you can see it's it's not sticky, it's kind of dry, but it's still soft enough to stamp. So I'm going to use a complicated stamp right here. It says created by a soap witch, which I thought was really fun. And um, I thought people that bought soap from me would get a little chuckle out of it. Um, but it's complicated because there's lots of little details in here. So if I could do this, then something more like this, this cat, it's called Cat Pride. Um, it's a little stamp. It, these lines, when you're choosing a stamp, the lines like this, if you're just new to it, are pretty easy. Um, like I said, these right here, this is more complicated. So see how it sticks in the A? I've since fixed this by A. I really like how elegant this is and how fun and whimsy, but I just, if I offer this stamp to other people, I, I think this would be like not so much fun. <laughs> For me, it's not that much fun, but um, so I made it into this font so that it should come out a lot easier if I do offer it. But, um, and then ones like these uh, are easier too, because it's almost like a bunch of little poke holes. So I made one for myself like this. It's a uh, queen bee. I'm not going to offer this one. This one's just mine. But the lines so close to each other and thick like that, they tend to just push together. They don't let the soap come through. Now you can do all these stamps on soap dough. They work perfectly on soap dough, but they're intended for, oh yeah, and the eye doesn't come out because this is just a flat plane. So the soap has to go somewhere. So um, they're intended for a bar of soap, in my opinion. So this is a sample, but it's, it behaves a little bit more like soap dough because it, it was soft when I stamped it. But if you can see, it raises right here a bit. And um, that's diff more difficult when you put the soap in it and then try to plane it off. Now, as a stamp goes, it's perfect. But if you try to put, so all my stamps are, are being designed so that you could fill them in with soap dough if you wanted to. So they're, they're double purposed. You can um, use them for uh, a stamp just as they are, which is a really nice detailed, um, sort of like having a little bit more movement to it. Um, than the stamps I've seen, I, I, I want something to have a little bit more dimension or character or, or be fun or interesting or something like that. So there's no point in me, you know, again, you know, like I've said in the past videos, offering things that other people already offer. Um, and so this one is a lot trickier and, and I, I could never just offer it because for me, it's tricky. Um, but it is a good learning, it's a good tool. So I'm going to show you how I do this. Now, there's another thing too. Um, it's been advised to me to spray with alcohol and sometimes that works out really nicely and other times it doesn't even matter. Oh, and then the other thing is these two palette knives, you can see the difference. I forget what number this one is. It doesn't have an on here. I'll, I'll put it in the details, but this one's a two. I know that for a fact and I just bought this one but you can see how large they are. So I use this in this capacity and then I scrape it off and I wanted a little bit littler one and then I have one with a little bit more point coming with it because these are really helpful and you don't have to plane the soaps off so much. So let me show you this. So I gave it a little spray with alcohol, not much. And then I wanna lay it on top of here so that it's even. So these stamps are created to approximately the size of your soap bar so that you know how to put them and how to position them. And it takes a little bit of effort. So what I do is I push and then I lean on one side and then push on the other side. The other thing with um, 
So I'm putting quite a bit of effort on here. So you don't want them to be too sloppy or, you know, soft and whatever, your bars. But the other thing is if you take this, see now I need to push right here. The one reason I don't always use alcohol is because it makes it slide and you have to be really exact. So here I'm pushing, you can see I'm putting some effort and I don't want any space between any of the, the face of the stamp and the face of the bar. So, and then I rock it a little bit, let's see what the top is, and then take it off like that. So you can see I'm a little crooked, but I don't know that that matters that much because it does slide a bit and there you go. And then it's, it's pretty smooth. But so what we've done now is affected the top of it. And so now there's wet soap inside. Now I'm going to stamp all these today and let them cure a little bit more, or as the case may be, you know, calling it curing drying, and then take my time and fill these in because I think with white soap dough, this will look really effective. These are some of the ones I filled in because I can practice on my samples. You all are quite forgiving. I haven't cleaned the edges up or anything, but you know, when it's soft, it mars really quickly. And so it's a little bit more finicky to take your palette knife and smooth this off. I did not plane these. I just smoothed these off and then, you know, give them a little spray with alcohol and smooth it off like this to get all the blemishes off of it. And of course we always want our soap crumbs gone, but I'm also going to go and um, bevel the edges and clean all the edges up a bit. And so you can see this right here. You see how the eye doesn't come out very well. I'm trying to avoid that with all my stamps and it gets tricky when the designs are like coming fast and furious and I have to work them out. For example, the man who makes my stamps for me, he, he and I were going over this and to see exactly how much text I can put on here effectively and come out. Now these kind of came out like you could read it, but it's blurry. So, but I really like this. I have, um, a board in my office that says this and it says, the Black Cauldron Witch Academy, for those who can't read backwards, because I can't. Hats, brooms, wands, and spell books required. And I just thought, this is so fun. And you can see it's all dirty because I've got soap in there. Well, not dirty, but there's soap in there. And, but the problem is that it's so tiny. I Even if I make these wider, the O's are a little tiny. Like that's about as small of an O as I can make. And so together they put like a pressure and then they all push the soap dough in. So that's the other thing too, or soap in. If your bars are too hard when you go to stamp them, you're going to get pockets that push in and even break the surface of your soap bar, which um, can still be repaired and fixed. It's not the end of the world. It's just not ideal because, you know, you want something, well, for me, I want something that, you know, was the intended design and that I can see it clearly. So yeah, I think these are quite effective with the white in there and then they last a little bit longer than other things. You know, in the stamp, st stencils and the stamps, they're all meant to give extreme detail, like, and to create and, and have a story and be able to tell stories with our soap and, you know, make people wonder for me anyway, that's what I like. And the way I started that was, um, uh, that what I, my experience of it was I made a popcorn soap, which some of you have seen, and I didn't, men did really care about the fact that I was making soap. And so when he saw it, this is a friend of ours, when he saw it, he was really amazed at it. And I love that he was amazed at it. And then he got an opportunity and was intrigued to use, um, handmade soap. And so I thought, oh, what a tool for communication and interest and, you know, to whenever I can spark wonder in someone to think about something a little bit differently, it brings joy to me. So that's part of why I pursue all these, you know, soap oddities, essentially, um, is because I want to inspire other people, no matter how that works. And so... Anyway, um, these little, so any of these with the little lines like this work super well. They're just, I'm so pleased with them. 
So yeah, and we have the butterflies. There's just a host of them. So if you like one particular, uh, I have also, I have cat bat up. I created this cat bat, which I'm very pleased with. So if you, if there's a stamp that you like, go sign up for them so that we know on the back office that um, who wants what, and we know how to properly order. And I'll keep making um, videos so you can see how I do it. And then I'll make another video so you can see how I planned it. Now I do have another video, which I'll link to this video about how I planed it and how I um, used palette knives to scrape off the excess soap. So anyway, leave a question or a comment if you have any and let me know your thoughts. Okay, thanks, bye.